JavaScript with V8 Toolkit. So first you start up Chrome, special um, option, it says remote debugging port. Uh, basically that's how we are able to get the JavaScript debugger, which is actually a JavaScript program itself. So we start that up. This is just another page. Uh, we start like we're going to debug that page. So here's the normal debugger, but when you open it with the X with the uh, remote debugging port, you can do this. You can open up developer tools on developer tools. So this is the real developer tools, and this is the developer tools on the developer tools. So we can watch our network. Um, we refresh this page, pops up here, but then over here, so we refresh this page. Over here, we can actually see uh, this is the protocol. Uh, but instead, we don't want to debug this page, we want to debug our stuff. So, going over to our code, we can look at the test program. Nope. We can look at the real test program right here. Um, the interesting bit is simply we create this debugger object with the context we want to debug and the port, which is a, it's a TCP, uh, it does both HTTP and WebSocket port. And then we just uh, make an infinite loop of running the script, uh, which I just loaded from a file, say poll. Every time you call poll, it, it gives it a chance to uh, deal with the debugger and then just a quick sleep so it's not a tight loop. And the code, you can see it's just uh, three functions, A, B, and C, called call A, A calls B, B calls C. And we go ahead and run it. You can see it prints, uh, these are my custom, just standard out printers, so beginning of A, end of A. What do I say, every, just every, what, one, one a second, I think. Right here, yeah, you sleep uh, one million, so yeah, one second. Every every second, it runs the program. So now, come over here, we point it at nine thousand two. So what this means is it's going to load the inspector JavaScript program from itself. Chrome's going to load it from Chrome, but then it's going to point at our application to get its data. So we run it. Um, there's actually a couple other programs I have in here, but this is the one we just looked at. A, a calls B, B calls C. I'll set a breakpoint right here. Within a second, there's a delay because there's the sleep. Within a second, it pops it up here. And I can, um, I can step. And then when we get to the call to B, I can step in. We get more stack trace information. That's not quite right, but uh, close enough for now. We can step in to C, and you see there we can then we can step out, step out, step out, and if we you know go on from there, it's the end of the program. But a second later, it runs again. We get the breakpoint. So uh, that's it. I think. Also, let's see here. Some bar. Okay, that doesn't work yet. But you can see here um, all the different things that are being sent back and forth. A lot of no ops in here, but uh, you know, step over and then it pauses. So uh, it's pretty neat, and that's 